searching for a First Nations artist to provide a table for us. We were looking to have a baptismal font that was driftwood and spoke of the tree of life in the ocean. And we wanted the table to speak of reconciliation. We had offered officially an apology on behalf of the United Church of Canada to the First Nations. And we wished that represented in our new church on Burnaby Mountain. Susan Point, a very famous coastal artist and member of the Royal Canadian Academy, was approached to uh, do this carving. And she was delighted when we asked her. The idea was, where does the tradition of Christianity and the tradition of the coasts embrace each other? Where can we start new? What is before you is the result. The panels do speak of where the traditions embrace and move forward. The one that is before you has four faces. The sacred four, the directions, sacred to First Nations. A father, son, mother, daughter. The four gospels, the four races, are held together in a basket, which is our mother, the earth. We have also the salmon, which Barbara Howard particularly wanted, and birds, so all creation is woven together. The basket also looks like the waves of the ocean and the mountains that frame the coast, so those images are also present in the table. Together they stand as a witness to a new beginning and a hope that when we celebrate Jesus' presence on this table, we are moving forward with our sisters and brothers in the First Nations in a more humble and meaningful way. This is carved of living cedar and therefore has life and the people of Ellesmere are hoping that the National Church would receive this great treasure of theirs with a sense that it has a message yet to be heard. And we hope that those who come to this space for worship listen carefully to what this table is saying to them. We are called to be part of a network of relationships, all our relations. The congregation was overwhelmed when the, the panels were finally in place. It was a tremendous joy to see this great work of art that had been more than their expectations. And to live with it for the time that we did on Burnaby Mountain was a, a great joy. And people would often comment after the service about a certain aspect, something they hadn't noticed before. Some would say, oh, there's fish, there's salmon in there. Oh, I think I saw a bird. People would notice the basket. Some would notice that when the light raked over the four faces, how deep the carving was that at other times they didn't see. And I think after time, we started to hear them sing. 